Okay, so this is just a quick view of the solar panel. Uh, it had a white plastic border on it, and I was just like, well, that's not just not cool enough, that is it? So I've wrapped a wrapped black electrical tape around it. Just not, you know, like, I mean, call me old fashioned, but I'm not the sort of person who wants to shout from the rooftops, hey, look at me, I've got a solar panel. I'd rather just have it look like a blind, which it sort of does. So obviously, it's on a cutting mat. That's it's not got a green thing around it. Um, so I'm just in the process of setting it up. But something that uh, did occur to me, which I'm a little bit gutted about, is I wanted to use it with this lithium battery. Uh, I'll go into more detail about that later. And I kind of wanted to use it with this uh, controller because it's just a cheaper one. Um, but this doesn't have the right modes on it for lithium batteries it's got all the float charging and this and that so unfortunately for now i'm going to have to use it with this more expensive controller which i want to use with a bigger panel so anyway i will set it all up and uh, mess around with it sweet okay a bit of a exciting moment so the panel uh, i'm not sure it's not entirely clear but it's kind of Ung on uh, on the window like that with the wires and oh you know like I'm pretty chuffed about this and as a little bit of a sort of funny point is the moment I plug the panel in we've got a power cut <laughs> I mean how cool is that so this is the charger which I've got to use because I am using this hyper re uh, 20 amp hour lithium battery so I've put the settings on the thing to lithium that little dude dude it there and the panels are charging so I don't really know how this thing works let's just have a play with it let's just press buttons on it for a laugh so yeah it's all like the time the load timer and stuff the temperature amp hours out and powers in which is nothing because i've literally only just plugged it in it's the voltage of the battery the battery is 100 percent charged 24 amps coming in that's no 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 that was 0.24 amps on it it's next to nothing it's not very sunny the load's on i need to sort that out error nothing so i wanted to see the voltage of the panel coming in if it did that but I don't, I don't know. 0.24 amps coming in, ne next to nothing, but better, better than nothing. Oh yeah, there's the voltage of the panel, and it's 17 volt. Not bad for a crummy. I, I mean, it says 80 watts, but I mean, it might be 80 watts in the split second that an atomic bomb goes off in front of it. But let's face it, it's not going to be 80 watts, but. Um, so yeah, well, I think what I should really do at this point is uh, plug my phone into it and charge it up like, before it conks out. But uh, that that was that's the inverter which I'm not going to use. <clears throat> well, I might use on this, but anyway, it's not it's not even wired into it. But so yeah, um, not exactly the most exciting thing in the world, but it is free power and it's going to be pennies saved from my. Robin electric bill so um, yeah I'll just leave it at that not much more to add to this I think I'll just join all this into one video with the bigger panel that shall be deployed probably tomorrow or whenever chilling in a bit so um, just an additional little bit is um, I've got you know one of them sort of uh, car chargers that normally would plug into the lighter socket so what I've done is basically take it apart and solder some wires onto it and that is just directly going into the load of the Renergy uh, 20 amp maximum power point jobby and so that is currently where my uh, phone is plugged in and it's charging and we've still got a power cut hence the uh, security camera not working or being on and I'm sitting here uh, putting this vid together and drinking cold coffee because that's how we like it, you know. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, they could just turn the electric off. I've kind of had done with it, and especially if the prices are going to be going crazy and all, it's almost just like 
I do kind of, kind of get the feeling where if the standing charge on the poverty meter ended up going over a quid, I'd just have them disconnect it, and um, I'd find I'd find ways of doing what's necessary. You know, yeah. I mean, you could always I don't know boil water in a big homemade. Uh, sort of heater and use that to have a shower with you know it is these things are possible it's just that everybody relies on on the the grid and what have you but every now and then as you can see the grid lets you down and just goes off so anyway that's uh, just that's pretty much it you know hopefully it's an inspiration to somebody sorry it's not particularly detailed but this is one of them things in it so thanks peace out <laughs>